In today's makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this smoky eye using just two eyeshadows. I also have lots of tips and tricks along the way as well. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. And if you're new to the makeup chair channel and you're not subscribed, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this super easy look using just two eyeshadows. Let's get started. So as always, we're going to start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. And I've actually started applying my eyeshadow primer using a damp sponge. I find that this creates a really even finish and also is so soothing because of the dampness of the sponge. It's just really soothing on the eyes. But I love the finish that it gives. It's way more even than applying it with my fingertips, which means we're going to have a longer lasting, better finish, and the eyeshadows are going to have something to hold on to while also creating a blank canvas as well. And if you'd like, I have a discount code below where you can get some of these sponges. I just don't know why it didn't occur to me before. It's way better to apply it with this. Now the two eyeshadows that we're gonna be using is from this Fenty Beauty palette. This is the palette number three. We're gonna use the top brown shade and the bottom brown shade to create this look. And I'm going to apply the first shade using a blending brush. Now I like to hold the blending brush a little higher up on the handle when I'm applying. So the further you hold it up on the handle, the more pressure you're going to apply, the more eyeshadow that you're going to apply. If you hold it in the middle, you're going to blend as you apply. And if you hold it right at the bottom, you're only going to blend. That's just something to bear in mind. So I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm holding it in the center because my lid is still a little damp. So I don't want to apply too much pressure because it's just going to grab hold of certain areas. So it's better to hold it in the center, pick up a little bit of product, and then very slowly start to build this up on the lid. So I'm going to start on the lower part of the lid and I'm going to build this up as we go because we want to grab hold of the shadows to keep it on the lid, but we don't want to create little patches on the lid either. So very slowly build this up, apply it nice and low and work your way up covering the lid. Don't worry about the crease just yet, just, just cover the lid. Now, as you can see, I'm holding the brush kind of low down in front of me, and this allows the bristles to kind of go up a little bit higher. So it's covering the lid and also a little bit into the crease as well. Now, if you only want to work on the crease, you're going to bring it up horizontally. So working across the eye instead, and this will only cover this area and prevent your eyeshadows from going up too high, but keeping it nice and deep in that crease. So I use a combination of keeping it low and then keeping it high, depending on the areas that I need to cover. Another little tip and something that I've never actually mentioned is I always keep my eyebrow kind of raised because if I kind of squint or have my eyes kind of relaxed, I get these little wrinkles. So try keeping your eyebrow nice and high and look down in a mirror and this will create a smooth line for us to work on. So I always have a mirror kind of placed in front of me and this just creates this smoothness. It's going to make sure we have a nice even texture and an even look. So that's just something to try and I've never mentioned it before, but it's something I always do. So once I've covered the entire lid area, I want to then kind of work in the crease area now. And I'm going to do little swirling motions. And this is going to blend in that crease line and keep it nice and deep in there, but give us this kind of soft kind of halo around the lid. So I'm keeping my hand high and doing little swirls. Now I could never do a smoky eye without using a clean blending brush to soften around the edges. This honestly makes such a difference. I'm holding it really far down on the handle because I don't want to apply anything or blend too much. I want a soft, gentle blend. So holding it really far down the handle, will just let it glide over the skin. So it's going to be nice and soft and blurry and just that perfect smoky look because smokiness is the deep darkness right at the base. And then it kind of disappears into nothing. And that's what we want. And that's what a clean blending brush does. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now moving on to our darker shade, I'm going to apply this using a small flat brush. Now you can come from above and kind of tap it across the lash line, or you can bring it down and tap it across the lash line. It's totally up to you and whichever one works for you. I'm also holding it quite high up on the handle to give me lots of control because I don't want this to kind of go everywhere. You know, we don't want fallout. So keep it kind of high, gives you lots of control. And you can really press that dark eyeshadow onto the lash line. Now, as you can see, I'm keeping the brush kind of vertically across my skin. So it's kind of pressing it against my skin 
right across the lash line and I keep it a little higher on the outer edge and then I kind of sweep it downwards the closer it gets to the inner corner, but it's all about this pressing motion and keeping it vertically. I'm also gonna do little smudgy motions with this as well so I can kind of use the brush back and forth and kind of a little wiggle across the lash line and that's going to apply the eyeshadow just a little bit higher and make sure it's nice and smudged. Then I'm gonna switch my technique, bring my hand nice and high, and this time we're working across horizontally. So I'm pressing this all along and we're gonna get a really nice deep effect as we do this. So I switch between the two using horizontal kind of pressing motions, vertically pressing motions until I get the depth that I want. Now we're not gonna be applying any other eyeshadow, but I do wanna mention if you wanted to, you could take your blush and apply this into your crease and this will bring the entire look together. So we're using the same smoky eye, but changing up depending on what we're applying into our crease, onto our cheeks and onto our lips. And I love, love these by Giorgio Armani. They blend into like the most soft, powdery, creamy, velvety feel. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. Highly recommend but we're not going to apply anything else on the eyes. We're just gonna go in with some mascara and some falsies. Now, a lot of people are asking me how I apply my lashes. So I'm gonna show you, this is what I like to do. I apply the glue on the upper part. So it's not on the lash band, it's not underneath, it's on the upper part. And I look down in a mirror and I'm gonna press them upwards. So the first thing that I like to do is to kind of kiss my lashes. So I kind of go, onto the lashes. This kind of disperses the glue and makes sure it's not really close to my eyes either because we don't want to get glue in our eyes. And yes, you are gluing the fake lashes to your own lashes. So you do have to be careful after you've removed them to take care of your lashes. But what I do is I do this and then as you can see, it just grips hold of it. I let go and then I just stamp all the way across until the glue dries. And then this way I get to keep my own natural lash line and I can make sure that the lashes are really on there and I don't have any like little gaps or movement or anything like that. But you do have to take care of your lashes if you do this technique and I'm also not recommending it. And please make sure you don't get glue in your eyes. Also just wanna clarify, this is not stuck to the upper rim of my eye. It's stuck to the roots of my lashes, not on the waterline. Don't stick these to your waterline. It's gonna be very uncomfortable and it can actually really affect your eyes. Now I also didn't apply any mascara yet on the lower part because if my eyes get a little watery, I don't wanna have like, you know, smudge city going on. So once my upper lashes are on, I can then apply a little bit of mascara to the lower lashes. And then that is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and please let me know if, if you try it. If it doesn't work for you, I'd love to know why because that way I can kind of readjust for these things. Or if you really like this look, definitely let me know what you used, what your eye shape is. I'd love to hear from you. I love reading your messages and seeing the little looks that you recreate. It makes my day. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself be kind to others. Remember, you are doing the best that you can do right now. So go easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next one.